I want to introduce you to the benefits of colour correcting. Now colour correcting is a great way of neutralising unwanted tones in your complexion. If you neutralise those tones then the actual foundation you use should be lighter, therefore more natural and less heavy. So you know it's a win-win situation if you get the right product. Now, if you have red tones like me, you want to use a green colour corrector. If you're very dark underneath your eyes, then you want to use a kind of peachy yellow because that really counteracts the darkness underneath your eyes. And if you have a very kind of sort of very yellow complexion, then use a little bit of soft lilac and that will really lift your complexion. Now, I have played in this field and used many different products, especially for my redness. I used to swim a lot when I was younger and I think just from clearing my nose all the time, I've got a few broken veins around my nose here and it just annoys me because I have to keep making up um, my nose here and again my chin. Now I don't look as red as I normally do. If you look further down the feed you'll see me looking much paler and, and much more blotchy um, but I've well, it was actually it was a month ago that I came back from holiday, so I've still got a bit of warmth in my skin, but I'm taking these tablets, um, Tan Optimizers by Imidine, and I think they give me a little bit of warmth to my skin, which is great, um, but it's not so great for this demonstration. Anyway, to the point, I've tried this Marc Jacobs colour corrector, and it's fantastic. It looks like a little deodorant, um, and it's not just pure green, because I found that if it was too green, I was then being a little bit nervous that I looked like I had a green face and then I'd actually put as much foundation on as I would do normally and that just defeated the whole object. So I think the easiest way to show you is to apply it just on one side and a little bit of foundation on top and show you how easy it is. So wherever your redness, just apply it. And you can see it's like a sort of goldy green when it's mixed together and under here. I'll just do the one side because I just think it's the easiest way to show you. So that's it, really soft, really simple. I just love this packaging, it's so dinky. You know, just chuck that back in the makeup bag. You could use a brush if you want to, but you know, fingers are great. Now, just use that tapping motion because you don't want to sweep it because then you spread it too much. Tap it under there, just tap, 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 tap. It's my chin that really annoys me being so red because I always need a little bit more foundation on it to cover it up to, to match with my neck. Anyway, so look how this, now you wouldn't just go out with this on your face, obviously. This is a skin neutralizer, so it's a color corrector. So you always put little bits of base over the top. But as you can see, and you'll see maybe when I put the foundation on, it sits beautifully into the skin. It looks paler than my skin, but honestly, trust me, it feels soft, it smells divine. I don't actually know what that fragrance is actually. And that's it. I mean, it's literally patty patty pat and you're done. So I'm going to use my Makeup on the Go Double Wear um, Estee Lauder by Estee Lauder. I love this. What we do is squeeze and it comes out. Um, I'm quite a finger person with makeup. Put it over the side, put it over there. Oh, yep, don't need too much. I'll put a little bit under my eyes so that I don't look so tired. Great, I think that colour blends in really well. I've only used a tiny little bit of foundation and look at the difference. And the coverage is really light. Give it a go, let me know what you think.